morning. It's kind of messy. The rain has moved away, but there's a lot of fog painting central and north Alabama. You can see visibility reduced uh, to two miles in many places. Birmingham at three. And so there's a dense fog, dense fog advisory in place through nine o'clock this morning. It's very saturated at the surface, and you can see looking over downtown Birmingham this morning, heavily reduced visibility, 47 degrees in Birmingham. We're on the chilly side this morning, but we actually are going to warm up today and get out of the 40s and 50s later this afternoon. You may feel a little bit of mist this morning if you step outside, but we're not expecting any heavy rain today at all. Drier conditions through the afternoon and clouds start to break up just a little bit. Now today is mostly cloudy overcast, but I do think later this afternoon there could be a few pockets of sunshine in some places and temperatures should rise to the upper 60s across central Alabama. So looking ahead through the day again, cloudy by noon. We're in the 60s, a little bit cooler. Coleman, Blunt County, Gadsden, just a couple degrees cooler than the rest of us here along I-20. And then later this afternoon in the upper 60s, starting to see some breaks in the clouds right along I-20 into the south later this afternoon. So again, maybe be on the lookout for a little bit of sunshine, but expect mostly clouds and then clouds build in again tonight. Tomorrow morning on Sunday, we'll be waking up in the low to mid 50s across central Alabama, a little bit cool. And then tomorrow afternoon is mild again with temperatures climbing to the upper 60s and even low 70s later on Sunday afternoon. You can see on our short term guidance, a few spotty showers tomorrow afternoon, and I definitely think that's possible, but it's not going to be a big deal. You can see we're quiet this morning. All of the rain is off to the east and there's some dense cloud cover to the south. There's a low pressure system and a front right along the Gulf Coast here that kind of hangs around, but all of the wet weather really stays south and east of us. And we see briefly drier conditions through today and tomorrow, but next week brings more wet weather to our forecast and even some more flooding as possible when we get waves of showers and even some thunderstorms. So here's a look at the rain chances on Monday night into Tuesday is when we get a heavy round of some of that rain. And then again, looking ahead to the latter part of next week, Thursday and Friday look pretty wet as well as the first full week of March next week. And it does look pretty stormy, at least temperatures are coming up a bit mild in the 70s.